The Bears may have finally figured it out. Well, congrats, Bears. You finally realized that you actually need a quarterback to win games in the NFL. Playing offense and scoring points for your team does help win games you well, can't just play defense for yeah, four and years. All, well, it helps a lot when it's not your defense that's scoring the points too yeah yeah you can't just play defense all season and then hope maybe we make the playoffs it's not it's not 1985 anymore exactly so we're going to get into it the first round picks this year of quarterbacks uh way too early rankings of who's good and who's not um obviously there wasn't a big sample size but we're going to do a rundown of it yeah we're going to look at all the rookie quarterbacks um this is way too early considering they've had literally one preseason game yeah. and probably less than 20 total practices, I would say. So these are way, way, way too early. However, with that said, I think we already have a pretty good idea of at least where the rankings fall within these quarterbacks. One and two, you know, let's let's at least get those two out because I think that there's two quarterbacks that were leaps, bounds and miles better ahead Absolutely. of the other two. Yeah. So let's start out with our we unanimously agree that Justin, Justin Fields. Fields, Justin Fields had the best preseason of any starting quarterback that was a rookie this year. Um, so I honestly, after watching him, I was like, okay, I see why this guy going into the season was the only option behind Trevor Lawrence. Obviously he didn't end up being that option, but like looking at the way he played, you're like, oh my gosh, this is everything everyone was talking about. He made some awesome throws. He was super athletic. He escaped pass rushers. He escaped the pocket to make throws when there was no pocket. Like some of the other rookies were just running out of the pocket for no reason. He either stood in the pocket saw, or saw the rush uh, rolled out and made the throw. And that's not something you see from a rookie quarterback every season. And even his complete incompletions were good throws or drops. Well, and also on top of it, when he was running out of the pocket, it wasn't like he was running scared. He's like, oh, this is what I'm no. planning on doing. I, I'm not running for my life. Dude, there right were now. full strides, him running out to the edge and just and then you saw where he literally took his receiver, pointed. It was Chris Lacey. He goes, go there. Chris Lacey moves. Yeah. And then dude. he drills him at the line. He's on the line of scrimmage and he drills him 10 yards on field. Veteran Great move. move. Veteran Great move, move right there. Like you don't see that. Like you're, he's calling people on the field mid play. I actually come to think of it, I can't really think of any quarterback in the NFL that has done something like that in their first game. No, in their no, first no game. One. That's hard because that, that's the type of, that's like the Russell Wilson type shit. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And then and then obviously we have our number two who who was actually the number one pick in Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence. Um, I mean, we all expected this, but I mean, he looked good in his he first looked start. Poised, so dude. like, he looked, I mean, like, you know, what impresses me is that like, you know, he just doesn't make mistakes that tri typical rookies make. No. You know, he like I, I just feel like because, you know, while he didn't really do anything crazy or special. You know, it, he just played well. He played well. And yeah. like, like he looked like I've been here before and he hasn't. And that was really cool for the Jaguars because they actually do have some West weapons and like Chanel, you know, they have, uh, they have DJ Chark. They, you know, they have some pieces, like nothing crazy. They have James they Robinson. Yeah. They have James Robinson. They have, uh, you know, um, who was the running back they took out of, uh, Etienne out of Clemson, who was yeah. the freaking backfield mate. I mean, yeah, I know I get that, but it's still like a first round pick running back. And so he made a lot of great throws, but he. You say you say that like it's a good thing, a first round pick running. Yeah, back. I know. But at the same time, like honestly, it was kind of boring watching Trevor Lawrence because he did exactly what you expect. Is, yeah, I was actually thinking it was the exact super boring. same thing. You're like, well, yeah, he's good. But yeah, we're like, we, we literally all expect him to be good. It yeah, would have been way more exciting if he had just gone like 0 for 12 or something. Well, well the one that got me more surprised, and I, I, I think we both agreed with this, was Mac Jones. Number three. Yeah. Mac Jones. Is, yeah, this is where we have Dude. him. So like so right now, so just to make sure everyone's on the same page, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence. Honestly, you can kind of interchange those, but personally we just feel that Justin Fields like he was he so athletic. More, like, he was so athletic. He he had, he had more game changing type plays. Yes, it's a preseason game, but like, you know, put those plays in a bigger game. Yeah. And, exactly. And like like he made like he just made plays that veteran would make. And then Mac Jones, like, honestly, I saw a lot of great things out of Mac Jones. He read plays more than two reads. So I would see him check down from his number one to his number two to his number three and then see that everyone was blocked off and dump it off. And like people are like, oh, he's a, you know, he's a dump off guy. It's like, I mean, if no one's open. Yeah, absolutely. And on top of it, like he was only checking down if the pass wasn't there. Like, and you know what he was really good at was the short passes. You know who was really fucking good at short passes in Foxborough? A guy named Tom Brady. Name Tom Brady. A guy named Tom. Tom Brady. Brady wasn't a long ball thrower. He's never been a long ball thrower. No. He will kill you between ten to fifteen yards. He will kill you. And like that's what the and that's what Bill's like. I'm just gonna do the same shit I did 
like I mean, for 20 I, years. I mean, here, here's what worries me though. It's like, they don't have a deep threat and no, there's no free agents no. on the market. They, they, they just don't like, I mean, they sign a bunch I, of tight ends. Yeah. They literally got a bunch of tight ends and Nikhil Harry, who's their best receiver wants to leave. Yeah. Yeah. And so they, 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 there's a lot of question marks, but I still think that Mac Jones played pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. And, and definitely, definitely surprised me. I think that that, that starting spot between him and Cam is totally up in the air. Yeah. Honestly, I think, because totally up I think Cam will get it just because that's how Belichick is. That's he's the right like, thing to do. It's Belichick. You that's know what right I mean? Like, I think he's going to be like, I'm going to give it to the veteran and he knows more and you're a rookie. You need to earn it. Well, think about it, dude. You know, cause you're going to have guys that you, you were saying this earlier, you're going to have like guys that are undrafted people, but they'll be in the league for five five years well yeah and then, and, and then that i you know like yes they were undrafted but that guy's going to be a lot better than someone that might have been perked, picked in the first round that's 21 years old yeah, yeah. it's like how yeah the bills defense is going to take it super easy on mac jones like right? do you remember when you were 21 years old were you smart no probably not i'm still not smart imagine leading a fucking football team he's like oh shit and literally the most literally the most intricate sport or the most intricate position in all of sports exactly oh and it's like oh yeah and you can just buy buy alcohol now good luck yeah yeah figure it out figure it out stupid yeah and that brings us to uh the number two overall pick but the number four quarterback in our rankings zach wilson yeah dude i well first off i found out today that zach wilson is six three and that absolutely blew my mind yeah he looks five ten um absolutely not he looks like a five foot ten orientation leader oh absolutely I i was like i was like Robert Sala, if you need someone that's a five foot eleven blonde guy to hand the ball off, then I'm happy to do that. Yeah. Um well let's well let's talk a little bit about that t- though. T- but- t- so shout out to New York Jets 24-7 YouTube page because they did a whole list of his highlights. Um half of them were handoffs. Easily. He's a great handoff guy. Easily half of them. He's he's gotta be a top five handoff guy uh coming out of this draft. Um, they were very clean. They were very good. Is that not the most Jets thing ever on the planet, though? <laughs> They're just like, we're just going to run it. <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's literally the he, most Jets thing on the he planet. He didn't make one long ball. He had a he went six and nine for passing. Like, they were only short passes, though. A lot of them were dump offs. A lot of them were outs. Like, did not make a lot of second reads. Like, it was like, stare this guy down and hope he gets open. If not, I'm going to throw it in the ground. And that's what happened. And he put the ball out of reach a couple of times where you're like, dude, come down with it fucking down and he's just like big time happy feet he never really looked comfortable in the pocket he didn't he didn't look accurate with his throws there's a lot and mind you like obviously you know this is the first game these are really early predictions but these are like these red flags are fucking red yeah these are like some dark dark red flags i'll give it to him that like hey i held out a training camp because i wanted more money which is like fuck you you're a fucking rookie yeah like like shut the fuck, fuck up. Off. Shut the fuck. Literally, literally, dude, this is gonna be a Johnny Manziel 2.0, but like he drinks less. Yeah, you know? he's more. Literally, he doesn't yeah, drink at all. But he's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to. I, you know, what I mean, I, I don't know if like if we have even any Mormon people that I, follow I us. Do, I, yeah. I applaud you. I don't drink either. So yeah, look at that. Exactly. Yeah, Al- alcohol's super gross. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Pineapple juice. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I think we should get to Number probably five. the quarterback that has, Dude. like, really just... He played like shit. Dude, he played like shit. He played and, like shit. And here's the thing is I was looking well, at articles... Well, Trey Lance. Yeah, Trey, Trey Lance. Lance. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, I might want to mention his name. Um, yeah. I mean, I thought you guys just already knew because everyone knew he played like shit, apparently. Except for Yahoo Sports. I'm, wa- I'm looking at these articles. They're like, look at this great 80-yard pass. I was like, you mean the 30-yard pass the guy took for an extra 50 yards? That pass? I mean, where he was a, wide a, fucking open on a bootleg, like a busted you, coverage. Yeah, like and on a bootleg, you're literally rolling out away from pressure, and you just have to hit the guy. I could do it against some like you fucking against some like fucking schmuck that is probably going to get cut and, in a and, couple weeks. And Jack, who played offensive line, screaming because there's beautiful pockets, and this guy's stepping oh out God. of the pockets and running instead of stepping oh up and making God. his throws. Big pockets, like you could fit a fucking F two fifty in these yeah, pockets. His Jack is so mad. Yeah, like it, oh my God, and he's just like running out of there. And I'm like, okay, sorry, you're not playing South Dakota State anymore. Yeah, and I'll give it that to him. That shit doesn't work anymore. Yeah, and I'll give it to him. He had like three or four drop balls, but it weren't, wasn't like they were great throws that were dropped. Yeah, and here's the thing: if he had been playing a great game prior to that, and he was getting drop balls, and I'd, I'd give I'd give that to him. But exactly. He just, but he but he stunk. Dude, he stuck. And what's hard to watch is like you playing center, me playing quarterback. You're literally watching this whole area where you're like, dude, you have like like a like a fucking diameter of ten feet where you can just like fucking exist and not get touched. 
and you're running into the guys, bro. You're literally making your life dip more difficult. Yeah, and don't get me wrong, that's fixable, but like that's that's why Jimmy keeping Jimmy actually isn't a bad idea because now it's like super clear, like, oh shit, like he's not ready to start whatsoever. That's the well thing is, yes, that's fixable, but like your raw skills better be pretty fucking good because that takes a lot of effort. You know to, how old Trey Lance is? He's 21, right? 20. He's 20. He's 20. He, can, he literally cannot even legally. He can legally, legally can't drink. Okay. So, I mean. You gotta, get, you gotta give him a little bit, but like at the same, and he hasn't barely played football in the last two years, but even that, like still like, bro. Are you ready to feel really old right now? Yeah. He was born in 2001. He's a quarterback of an NFL team. He was born in 2001. Yeah, I'm going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Um, yeah, anyways. But uh, regardless, he's still stunk. So, uh, but I mean, like the Niners, they have an amazing roster around them. They have Kyle Shanahan as their coach. They're going to be just fine. Uh, I mean, fine. like they're going to be totally fine. But these are way too early. For all we know, this could be totally different a month from now. But I think this has been, you know, definitely a kind of foreshadowing as to what we're going to be seeing this season. Anyways, uh, be sure to check out our channel for more related sports content. Super early predictions. Super early, always accurate, factual predictions. This stuff's set in stone, boys and girls. Always. Always the most accurate things. All right. Thank you for watching. That's awful. <laughs>